it's hard to believe such a thing could be true. And I hope such a thing never happens to you. But it happened, they say, to poor Maisie McCoo. It happened like this. She was sitting one day at her desk in the school in her usual way when she felt a small twitch on the top of her head. So Maisie looked up and she almost dropped dead. Something peculiar was going on there. A daisy had sprouted right out of her hair. <gasps> Behind her was sitting young Herman, Butch Strudel. This looks like a daisy up here on her noodle. It doesn't make sense. Why, it couldn't be so. A noodle's no place for a daisy to grow. <laughs> then up spoke another boy, Einstein Van Tess, the brightest young boy in the whole of the class. It's a very odd place to be sprouting a daisy. But nevertheless, one is growing on Maisie. Hey, look what's happening here in this room. Daisy had Maisie. She's bursting in bloom. <laughs> Miss Nietzsche, the teacher, came rushing up quick. Such nonsense. Some child here is playing a trick. Which one of you boys stuck that thing in her hair? You know that a daisy could never grow there. But teacher, Miss Nietzsche, I saw the thing rise right out of her head with my very own eyes. Just give it a yank if you think he tells lies. I've had quite enough of this foolishness talk. Uh, Maisie, hold still. Let me get at that stalk. Ouch! <laughs> You'd better quit yanking. You're giving her pains. I'll bet that those roots go way down in her brains. Daisy head, daisy head, daisy head, Maisie. Daisy head, daisy head, daisy head, Maisie. This room 20 years, maybe more. Daisy head, Daisy but I've never head, seen anything like this before. Daisy head, Daisy head, Daisy head, Daisy. Daisy head, Daisy head, Daisy head, Daisy. I'll have to report it. You'll just have to come to the principal's office and show Mr. Grubb. Daisy head, Daisy head, Daisy head. Now, the principal, good Mr. Gregory Grum, was a very wise man, just as smart as they come. He knew more than anyone else in this nation about law and division and multiplication. Come in. He knew all the answers, why oceans are deep, why skies are so high, and why mountains are steep. Tell me the answer to this thing on young Maisie. My word, a genuine daisy. I've seen them quite often in fields growing wild, but never before on the head of a child. Now what in this world ever made this thing sprout? I have no idea, but I'm going to find out. It says here, it says, daisies grow on the land. They grow between rocks, they grow also in sand. It mentions right here they can grow in a pot. But mention the head of a girl, it does not. Daisies, it says, sometimes grow in Alaska. Also Missouri, Rhode Island, Nebraska. They grow in Japan and in Spain and Peru, in India, France, and in Idaho, too. 
daisies flower by the score. And Timbuktu and Timbuktu and Kathmandu and Kathmandu did, they surely do and always did. In Shangri-La, Australia, Malaysia and Zanzibar, even parts of Africa, daisies nearly everywhere. <laughs> Find a daisy in your hair is something new and something rare. In all my years of being right, I've never seen so strange a sight. It stopped growing. I think, I think it's going. It's wilting. It's drooping. How wonderful, Maisie. It soon will be gone. You'll be rid of that daisy. In just a few moments, our troubles will pass. Just as soon as it's dead, take her back to the palace. <gasps> then the principal saw a most terrible sight. The daisy was dying. And that was all right, but that daisy was part of poor Maisie McGrew, and Maisie was starting to wilt away, too. Teacher! Miss Nature! You know what I think? They're both going to wilt! Quick! Bring them a drink. Oh, my! Oh. That Daisy. That girl's the worst problem in town. You take her away and you make her lie down. Lock her up tight in that room down the hall. There's quite a few people that I've got to call. Get Maisie's parents on the end of the line. I need them here quickly while there's still time. Mrs. McGrew, what's all the fuss? Oh, goodness to Betsy, I'll catch the next bus. <laughs> Are you McGrew? Mm -hmm. Call for you. Yes, this is... What? I'll be there in a job. My shoe, McGrew! My shoe! That's quite a neat trick. I'll be there in a tick. We need all the help we can get. Then I'll come along too. My brother's a vet. Pinch the florist, roses, carnations, holly. What? You mean up here? I'll be right over. My, oh my.
Mr. McGrew, my shoe! My shoe, McGrew! My shoe! Mr. McGrew, where is my daughter? Uh, I thought she was with you. Uh, no, I, but, but I, I believe was... that's my show. Your uh, show? Well, well, I won't say. Oh, I'm Dr. Eisenbart. Please let me. Through. <laughs> 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 I think? I think that Macy and her plant could help me get a research grant. <laughs> oh. Is Anna the mayor? I am very important, that's why I'm the mayor. My pictures on posters, on walls, here and there. At meetings and greetings, there's really none to compare. I'm the best at long speeches, chock full of hot air. I promise my friends that if I'm re-elected, this Daisy on Maisie will be disconnected. He promises his friends that if he's re-elected, this Daisy on Maisie will be disconnected. The law of our fathers is simple and sound. Daisies belong and should stay in the ground. The rest are illegal. We'll bar them all. Young what's his name and others now on tour. But Maisie, you're so special. Please let me shake your hand. Your talent is a wondrous thing, unique in all the land. That daisy's your ticket to fortune and fame. As money rolls in barrel loads for the rights to your sweet name. Daisy had Maisie. Spelled out in bright lights, we'll draw kids in the day, and their parents at night. Little children will plead for just a peek at your weed. Oh, Daisy Head Maisie, you got quite an act. Well, stick with me, kid, and sign this contract. Maisie, no! Don't be a fool! Don't turn your back on your friends and the school. 
But Maisie didn't stop to blink. She signed her name in Think Proof Ink. Your flower needs to sign too. <laughs> Just a floral malady. You understand. <laughs> Maisie, Maisie, what have you done? I'm going to be famous and have lots of fun. Head fever is gripping the nation. It's quickly becoming a worldwide sensation. Can I speak to my daughter? It's Mrs. McGrew. Sorry, she's busy till uh, the four thousand and two. <laughs> Daisy Head Burgers, and Daisy Head Drinks, Daisy Head Stockings, and Daisy Head Sinks, Daisy Head Buttons, and Daisy Head Bowls. Maisie was famous, the star of her show. See, Daisy Head Maisie. It's not much to pay. A daffy and dazzling new Daisy Ballet. Don't be shy, lady. Have a good stare at the girl with the daisy that grows from her hair. Fame had knocked on Maisie's door. Come in. And now she had it all and more. Had all her money stacked up in tens, but what good is money without all your friends? She had found her dream but lost her way. That was a price she just couldn't pay. So Maisie McGrew she ran night and day with nowhere to go and nowhere to stay. It's hard to believe such a thing could be true. And maybe that's why then, this Daisy above, when Maisie below began talking of love, well, you know about daisies. When love is in doubt, the job of a daisy is try and find out. They love her. They love her not. They love her. They love her not. They love me. They love me not. They love me? They love me not? Don't worry, Maisie. They love you! They love me!
moral of this story, love means more than fame and glory. Well, that's how it happened. The thing went away. And Maisie McGrew is quite happy today, back at her studies and doing just great in all of her subjects in room number eight. And concerning that daisy, you know that it never grew out of the top of her head again, ever. Uh, well, it practically never popped up there again, excepting occasionally, just now and then. And after all, I am getting used to it. Thank <laughs> you.